Hello, this is uh, Tim for This Old Arcade. Uh, today we're looking at uh, this nice classic uh, Valley Adams Family Pinball. I've got a customer coming out tomorrow to potentially buy this machine, and I've got a couple of pop bumper lights that are out. Uh, I believe the sockets are bad, so we're going to go through and replace these sockets and uh, see if we can get this thing going 100% the customer sees the machine. Okay, so we've got the, um, the glass off the Adams family here, and I pulled off the cap on the pop bumper. You can see the socket here. Uh, one side's broken off down here. This is a real common problem on these pinballs. So um, what we're going to do is uh, take this new socket here in leads and uh, pull the old old one out feed these leads down in and then connect them underneath uh, this socket here is from the uh, pinball resource uh, they're a wonderful supplier for uh, pinball parts so um, the first thing we're going to pull this socket out uh, so we'll flip the play field up and disconnect it from underneath. All right, we've got the uh, play field up and I've got uh, this one side disconnected here. You see where I've cut the lead. And then the other side's got a uh, diode connected to it. So we're gonna unsolder that and then uh, feed the new wires down through. Okay, got the old uh, socket out here. You can see where the wire is broken off right over here. Now we're going to feed the uh, new socket down through. All right, we've got the new socket started through. Um, the side that had the diode on it has this uh, uh, insulation here that keeps the wire from shorting out against uh, the coil bracket here. So I'm going to slip that on carefully as it comes out of the hole here. I'll probably use a pair of needle nose pliers. ahead and bending these leads over as I'm pushing it through. Ideally I would pull this bracket and coil off, but I don't have the nut driver for doing that right now. I'm having to do this the hard way.
Okay. Now I'm going to slip on this insulation. I do have the pinball um, switched off and unplugged at this point. I don't want to risk getting shocked and I don't want to risk uh, damaging damaging the uh, machine at all. working these leads around. I can get them to a point where I can solder them together. staple out of there. Closer. Working underneath the play field of the pinball helps if you have a lot of patience. Okay, I got that side uh, <clears throat> stapled and soldered, and uh, we'll get the other side here now. All right, so we got the uh, new socket in place here. We're going to put our bulb in.
Okay, that was pretty tight. I'll turn the machine on and see if we're good. Put this cap back on. This is using the old uh, 555 bulbs. The customer who buys this may want to modify it to use uh, LEDs, which I think is a, a great idea. Okay, and there we go. So, looks great. So here we go. We got that uh, all the pop bumper lights working. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, we'll see how the customer likes the machine. Thanks again for uh, joining us at uh, this old arcade.